She-Hulk needs better villains. She really does. Welcome to the Nerdy Things with Brendan channel, and today we're talking about the Marvel superhero, She-Hulk. Now, I consider myself a big fan of She-Hulk, and I've read nearly all of her comics. And this video is basically going to focus on just that comic element, not the TV show. But I've been reading She-Hulk for some time now, and when it comes to She-Hulk, she just doesn't have any remarkable villains. Most superheroes have an arch nemesis, and she's got Titania, so she at least has that part covered. Then you have heroes like Spider-Man, Batman, the X-Men, Superman, all of which have a full rogues gallery, so it's not even a DC versus Marvel thing. I've said it nearly three times now, but I really have read a lot of She-Hulk. I read the John Byrne She-Hulk run, which is fantastic, loads of fun. I read the short-lived 2004 series, the 2005 series, She-Hulk's Savage She-Hulk, tried that god-awful 2014 Trash Fire She-Hulk, came back for the 2018 series, and if I'm honest, I'm not caught up on the 2022 series, but I'm going to read it. And I'm saying all this because I love She-Hulk and I've read a lot. But I can't name many villains of hers you would even consider a member of her rogues gallery. Even Titania doesn't show up that often. Early on in the sensational She-Hulk, she fought Ruby Thursday. She's shown up a few times now. I thought one of her more memorable villains she fought during the sensational She-Hulk run was Zemnu. She even fought a living mountain called Sprague once. She-Hulk once fought Dr. Bong. Now that's one wacky villain. Now keep in mind, these are all from the sensational She-Hulk, probably her most popular series. She's also taken on the Absorbing Man a few times in her more serious stories. Now this is decades of comics we're looking at, and it might be the most pathetic list of villains out there. I think the key to why she has terrible villains lies in her history. If you look at She-Hulk's history in Marvel Comics, she had a series called the Savage She-Hulk that took her seriously, this was also kind of her origin story, but here she's taken seriously, and it just didn't last long. Like, it's not looked on as one of her most remarkable stories. Then came the sensational She-Hulk, which basically made She-Hulk Deadpool before Deadpool was even a thing. She broke the fourth walls, she cracked jokes, and she showed the more odd parts of the Marvel Universe. During the sensational She-Hulk, the book never took She-Hulk seriously. It would often poke fun at the comic book industry, storytelling tropes, and other things. Then she became an Avenger for a while, where she fought Avenger threats, but none really personal to her. Her 2004 series was short-lived and then was sorta rebooted in 2005. Either way, it was kinda weird. But even in these two series, she didn't really fight anyone. The series focused more on her role as a lawyer and explored the superhuman side of that. She helped defend supervillains and superheroes. She even defended Thanos' brother Star Fox. She eventually started taking on scrolls and even getting a little more serious, even joining S.H.I.E.L.D., but then the series ended. Of course, they still found ways to get her naked, though. The entire series didn't have a main villain, but it did explore Jennifer Walters slash She-Hulk's life. And I tried to read the 2014 She-Hulk series, but the artwork is just terribly. Just skip that trash fire altogether. Like seriously, who thought this art was good enough to publish? The only thing I've seen worse than this is Frank Miller's Dark Knight Strikes Back. The 2018 She-Hulk series had her dealing with the fallout of Civil War II. This series did take her more seriously, but was ended very soon. It did pin her up against the leader, but he's a Hulk villain. And if we're getting back to the topic of the video, She-Hulk really needs her own villains. Or at least her own villains to pop up more to make them a rogues gallery. Then we get to her newest series in 2022. As I said, I haven't read the series yet, but I hear really good things about it. But throughout all of She-Hulk's history, she has almost never had a serious rogues gallery. Even her arch enemy, Titania, barely shows up in all of these series. We have characters like Batman. He has the Joker who pops up almost every five issues. Spider-Man fights the Green Goblin at least once a year. But that brings me back to the topic of this video, and it's She-Hulk needs better villains. 
So a new series has just started for She-Hulk in 2023, and all I'm asking is She-Hulk could use better villains. And don't just pawn someone else's trash on her, give her some new villains and make them good. Give her a real challenge to overcome, build out her rogues gallery. She's been an Avenger for God's sake. So that's the video. I know it was a little disjointed, maybe sounded like a rant or something, but thanks for watching if you made it to the end. And if you read She-Hulk before, let me know if you agree. If you enjoyed the video, check out my Superhero Talk playlist. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.